What's going on guys, it's Nico Moreno here and in today's video what we're going to be talking about is how to set up a messenger chatbot bubble for your website. Okay, so this is going to act like a support bubble for your business, for your website, for your sales funnels, whatever it is that you're using, you'll be able to embed a little tiny chat bubble that's going to pop up in the lower corner and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that completely for free step by step. So stick around. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below to get more awesome free content from me. Or you can also click that smiley face dude down in the corner to join the family. All right guys, so let's get into it. All right guys, so let's get right into it. So the first step that you need to do is you need to go over to manychat.com if you haven't done that already uh, and create a free account there, okay? So there's a free account which is totally usable. You can do that if you wanna just you know save a couple bucks. It's also recommended, I highly recommend that you get the pro account, it's about $10 a month, okay? So it's really inexpensive, but you can also totally get by starting out, um, especially starting out you know, with the free account. So make sure to head over to manychat.com if you don't already have an account and get that set up. So once you're there, what you need to do is we're gonna, we're gonna create a messenger chat bubble that's gonna act sort of like a support bubble for our website, okay? So the first step that we need to do is we need to head on over to growth tools right here. Now a growth tool, you can kind of think of it like an email landing page, but for messenger bots, okay? So basically a growth tool is any way that you're gonna get people into and subscribe to your messenger bot. There's a couple different types and they all look pretty different. So what we need to do to create our growth tool is we're gonna click on this blue button here, new growth tool. And then if we scroll down right here, we're gonna give it a name and this is just, this is internally, so the people who subscribe to our chatbot, they're not gonna see this. This is just for us to remember what it is. And we're gonna click on customer chat here down at the bottom. So you can see there's a couple options that you can only get with the pro account. So I do recommend you go with that, but if you wanna save a couple bucks, the free account will totally do. So let's click on this. And we also have the option, we have the option to see right here um, exactly what the message is gonna be for people who subscribe. Okay, and we can also add people to a sequence, which we can cover later. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll edit this first message right here. So this is what people are gonna see when they first subscribe to our chat bot and when they first start interacting with our, with our chat bubble here. All right, so we're gonna say, welcome first name. Um, you, can, you don't have to say, you know, you don't have to say anything specific really, but we kind of wanna think about what our brand is like and also how we want our customer to feel on their first interaction with us, okay? Because this is likely gonna be their first or one of their first interactions with our business and with our brand. So we just wanna make sure that we're um, aware of that and conscious of that and you know, construct this, this first little message accordingly. So we can say, okay, so we'll say something like welcome to, and then I'm just gonna create a fake name for a store. Um, let's see, I'm in California right now, so let's call it like, welcome to Surf's Up first name, and then we're gonna create, we can create a little emoji here if we wanna do that. Um, I'll put some sunglasses on to match the branding. And also what you can do is if you wanna add more than just the first name, you can click this weird little bracket symbol here and you'll get some other, some other fields that you can automatically pull in. So ManyChat just gets that info from Facebook right away. And so it's super easy and accessible. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, welcome to Surf's Up. Um, how can we help you today? And then what I like to do is I like to put in the very first message, I like to put some images of like, like a finger pointing down or something like that. Cause a lot of times when people are interacting with a the bot, they don't know that they're supposed to press or type anything. Um, there's going to be some people who will you know, obviously have interacted with a bot before, but there'll be a lot of people who are brand new and they won't know what to do. So let's click um, okay, shop now. Talk to support. And then let's see, 10% off coupon. Okay, so these may be three examples of something that we can put as our, as in our first initial message out to people who are visiting our site. So what we can do is for shop now, we can just click to open a website. So for that, we can you might wanna grab like the actual URL. In order for us to save this, I need to put a URL here. So I'm just gonna do like www.google.com. Just that's so that I can save this and move on to the next step with you guys here. 
But what I would do right here is link directly to, if you have like a, a forward slash like store or if you have something other than your homepage where people are gonna be able to see all your product listings, um, I would put that right here, okay? So just paste that in here and then we'll do done. Talk to support, if you have like a support page or something like that, you can do that. Um, you can link directly to that. You can also send them a new message and um, you can have them, you know, give them further instruction on how to contact the support team. Maybe it's an email address that you want them to contact. Um, you can also have them call a specific phone number too. So if you have a support like hotline where people can actually call into your store, you can select that and you can literally just paste in the number here. And then when they press the number or when they press this button, it'll actually call right into your support team. So that's pretty cool too. And you can also, what else can you do? You can add, um, let's say you have a support team, like a real live support team standing by and you want them to get notified of when someone presses that button. What you can do here is you can click action and you can say notify admins. So this is only gonna be for the pro account. So if you want this to happen, you do need to upgrade to the pro account. Again, it's only $10 a month, so I highly recommend it. But what you would do is you would click notify admins and then you can set up um, additional actions here to create a notification that'll actually pop up and send to your support team. So you can just, this would be an admin to your Facebook page, and then you can also add them in here um, in settings as an admin. So that's, that's a very cool feature if you want to actually have someone um, who's sitting there live be notified as soon as anyone presses this button here. So we'll leave that and then 10% off coupon. So let's say you have a, this is a great way to build your email list for, you know, with people who are maybe not ready to buy right away, or maybe they are ready to buy. But what you can do here is you can link directly to an opt-in page or a landing page. So we'll say google.com. Again, this is just for me so that I'm able to save this and show you guys the next step because it's not going to let me um, save and move on if I don't put a real website here. But what you would need to do here is just link directly to your landing page or opt-in page where people can actually get this 10% off coupon. And then that's all you do. So what we would do is we would click publish. So this is what it would look like right here when, when it pops up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to test bubble right here and we're going to go to setup. Okay, so we've already created this message, we've created the buttons, and we've created the links and the actions that are gonna happen after people press these. So the next step is we need to actually set this up to show up on our store, okay? So there's a couple things to note. We can have two different options of what this is gonna look like. So we'll see right here, you see this little messenger logo, this is kind of what it's gonna look like right here. And we can have two different uh, types of chat bubble basically. So this is what it's gonna look like for the user. So you can have it show up saying just, hi, how can we help you? And then they have to press this chat now button, or you can also select this option right here. So it's really up to you. Um, this one looks, I think looks a little bit more inviting and like the chat has already begun, but really, you know, again, it's completely up to you. So the next thing is there's a couple of setup options right here. You don't need to do all of these, but you can if you want to. So you can hide this bubble on specific pages. So let's say, um, you have an order page or something like that, and for whatever reason you don't want it to show. Or let's say you know you have a blog or something like that, um, or a piece of content, and you don't want this to show up on that page, you can just paste the URLs right here, and this will not show up on any of those pages. You can also only show it on specific pages too. So for example, on a checkout page, if you only wanted it to show up there, you can do that as well. You can also select a different color um, for the chat, which is kind of cool. So that can like match your branding. Um, if you already have like, you know, a color scheme that you're going for on your website, you can also do, you can also set a greeting message for a logged in user. So if they're logged into Facebook, then this will, this is what it's going to show. And then if they're not logged into Facebook, this is what it's going to show because messenger relies on the Facebook platform in order to send messages. You can also set some more settings on like showing on specific devices or, you know, different things like that. But again, it's not completely essential. So the final step that we need to do is we'll just do install JavaScript snippet. And so what you need to do is you need to add your website here, okay? So whatever your website is, you just paste that in here. You need to authorize this, um, authorize basically ManyChat to show, you know, show these widgets on your website, okay? So that's all you have to do. Super easy, just click add. And then what you need to do, the final step is 
you would just copy and paste this piece of code into the header of every page of your website. So super easy. Um, you know, really it doesn't require any technical skill other than just knowing where to copy and paste this code. And that's it. So once we're done with that, you just click save. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is set to active. Okay, that's the one final thing that a lot of people tend to forget um, and it trips them up. They think that they did it wrong, but really it's just, you just want to make sure that this little blue notch right here is set to active. And that's it, you guys. So this is a super easy and really awesome way to um, create a more personal feel with your store completely for free, okay? And this is also a great way to get people engaging with your business, engaging with your brand, and build a list of messenger subscribers that you can remarket to later on. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna get more awesome free content from me, please be sure to click that red subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to hit the bell if you wanna get notified right away every time I upload a new piece of content for you guys. Finally, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you wanna see more or anything like that. So just let me know down below. All right, thanks so much, guys. This is Nika Moreno, and I'll many chat with you guys next time. Ha!